Hey you guys! Oh my god! Hi! <laughs> it has been so long. I am so excited to be back here with you today and ongoingly, finally. So it's been about two years, actually I think it's been over two years now since I filmed my last video, other than the little like altar tour that I did at the end of last year. Um, but it's been over two years since I've been on camera and doing this thing and like ready to be here again. So just to get us started, I felt like I needed to do the obligatory where have I been video, what's been going on, like what the hell, right? <laughs> I didn't expect to not be making YouTube videos anymore. Um, it just kind of happened. Honestly, it took me about six months to admit to myself that I was taking a break from YouTube. So I had a lot going on in my world at that time and I just kind of couldn't face turning on the camera. Um, I actually did turn on the camera a few times but my words just petered out and I just kind of didn't know what I was doing or saying or whatever. Um, and you know and then two years later here we are so i've received uh, quite a few signs i suppose messages that now is the time to jump back on i've been very much enjoying my life behind the scenes as it were i've still been on youtube like i've still been answering comments and watching youtube and been doing all the stuff that i've always done just haven't been making videos and behind the scenes i have just been you know doing my own thing i've been doing my practice and i've been working a lot and i moved house so i'm in a new location now um, and there's been all sorts of things going on but i thought we would just get in with the where have i been why did i leave um this is for my diehards this video so if you guys are more into like the um the, the how-tos or the, the topical discussions, those will be in videos coming, but this is for all of you guys who just kind of want to know what's been going on in my life. Um, and it's of course going to be dot points because it's been two years, like so much has happened for all of us. Like, oh my God, the world has changed since we last spoke. YouTube has completely changed since we last spoke. So there's been a lot going on. Um, so dot points will do today. Um, so grab a tea. I have water in my giant ass cup here, which I'm gonna need. <clears throat> I didn't drink that properly. Which I'm gonna need throughout the, uh, the thing. I actually, random story, I bought this as a tea mug. I wanted a little tea mug, but it was an American size. I ordered the 32 ounce and when it arrived, I was like, that's so big. So it's now my water cup. I don't have a water bottle during the day. I have a water cup. Anyway, so let's get into this. Let's get started. Where have I been? Oh my God. So it all began back in 2018. Yes, we're going all the way back there. Um, I was making videos at this time, but behind the scenes, there was a lot going on that I didn't share. Now, I'm not big into airing dirty laundry or sharing, you know, big challenges and things going on in my world. Um, if I don't have anything to offer you guys as I'm speaking about them, so I don't want to just come on here and be like, oh, there's this terrible thing that I'm struggling with and I don't know what to do and just kind of not have anything for you, if that makes sense. Um, not that there's anything wrong with people doing that, whatever, but it's just kind of not how I operate. So. I'm happy to kind of have a little bitch or, you know, share whatever's going on, but I want to be able to, like, give you something from that as well. Like, here's a little lesson that I learned or whatever. So anyway, I didn't talk about all the things going on, but behind the scenes, I was going through the worst financial uh, stage in my life. Um, we were struggling so bad with money at that time. Um, there were many months where we were like, we don't know if we're gonna be able to afford to pay rent this month. Um, the low point for me was standing in my kitchen, surrounded by dirty dishes, going, we can't afford the $2 to buy dishwashing liquid at the moment. Um, my husband wasn't getting paid for several days and we didn't have the money. So that was, that was a deep low for me, um, pretty tough stuff and you know nothing again that I wanted to share kind of publicly. So that was going on. On top of that, um, mine and my husband's relationship suffered very badly that year. Um, both of us at different points considered getting a divorce um, and we were just like 
don't know if we want to do this anymore like life was so difficult and it just wasn't it wasn't a good time you know so he was first and then I was later and um, it took a long time um, even after that into the next year into 2019 before my heart was really in it again and which is so funny now like looking looking back because like yeah we're just in a really good place now um, but at that time it was just like neither of us knew if we were gonna be able to do it anymore so that was happening um, and then on top of all of that I was going through an intense existential crisis <laughs> a crisis of faith I guess um, a crisis I just I didn't know where I fit in the spirituality thing like I didn't know what my beliefs were I was going through just all this turmoil um, I didn't know if I liked the word witch like I didn't know if I wanted to wear that and then I was like reconsidering paganism just in terms of the labels yes but like so much more than that do you know what I mean I just was so lost that year I was so lost and you know and I'm getting on camera and I'm like hey guys like we're talking about this thing today and whatever and but you know my life was just in tatters um, so that was very intense and then at the beginning of 2019, I got a reading from the amazing Jessie Huntenberg. I highly recommend um, getting a reading with her if you manage to snag a, a spot. Um, she only puts a few up every now and again, I think. Um, and she's brilliant. Um, I've had a couple of readings with her now and I just adore her readings. Anyway, she helped me kind of um, sort a few things out, you know, and um, it was about a month after that. I was prompted, and this is where it all began, this is when I stopped making videos, I was prompted to quit smoking. So that was something, of course, I never really shared either, but I smoked like a chimney, you guys. So I had actually um, been a smoker when I was younger, and I had quit, and it was like the easiest thing I'd ever done. I was really um, very focused on my health at the time, and it was just very organic. So I just like gave up smoking and I was still hanging out with smoke and it was like a non-problem right like it was so easy and then about two years later just after I started making videos um, here on YouTube I took up smoking again consciously like my friends had come over they had some smokes and I was like oh like I'll just have a little bit and then I said to my husband after they had come over two weekends in a row I was like I think I want to start smoking again and he's like are you sure? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, like, it'll be fine. You know, like, it was so easy last time. When I wanted to quit, it'll be fine. So I took up smoking again, and at the end there, like, I was smoking literally all day. So from the time I woke up to the time I went to bed, I had a cigarette in my hand. Um, just all day long, right? So it was, it was very much a very um, intense addiction. And it was definitely a way of coping with a lot of different things, um, a lot of emotional stuff, whatever, you know, all the things. Um... But then one day, I had run out of tobacco because I rolled my own cigarettes just to save a little bit of money, and I was very good at it, let me tell you. My cigarettes were perfect. I'd smoked, rolled, I smoked well both. I rolled these little thin ones, like very elegant kind of cigarettes, you know, and everyone would always ask me, did you roll those yourself? And I would say, yes. <laughs> I was so proud of this, like, skill that I had amassed, you know, acquired over however many years, built up. So anyway, um, I'd run out of tobacco and my husband was taking the car that day and I obviously had stayed up late the night before and I said to him, I left him a note saying, can you please get me tobacco before you go to work? And he hadn't seen the note, right? So I got up and there was no tobacco there and I was like, oh my God, and I had one cigarette left. And I was like, oh, like it's so frustrating, you know? And I didn't have money on my card. Um, so I called him and I was like, what the hell? He's like, I never saw the note. And I'm like, what? And I went out to the kitchen where it was and what had happened is my son in the morning had come out to have his breakfast and when he'd done that he'd flung the note like just you know out of the way whatever he just moved stuff out of the way and it literally you guys get this it had landed so the writings on this side and it had landed up against the wall the writing was on the wall <laughs> okay so it had flung up my husband had seen it whatever um and he was like, look, it's fine, we'll do cardless cash. So I had to walk up to the ATM, get cash, and then go and buy the stuff. So I was like, all right. And it was a bit of a walk, so I was just like, look, I'll, I'll sit down at my desk and I'll write down what else I want from the shop. You know, if I'm going to go, I may as well get a couple of things that we need. And I sat down at my desk, poised, with my pen in my hand, and all of a sudden, 
Um, there's so many different ways to describe this. It was a feeling, I heard a voice, but it was more a feeling of hearing a voice. But there was this voice that said, you can quit now. And it hit me like a ton of bricks. And I was like, no! I was like, fuck, like, I don't want to quit. I didn't want to quit, you know. My husband had been at me like, you know, you really need to quit. It's so expensive. Obviously, it's very bad for your health as well. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Like, I'd never been that type of person that would always say, oh, I want to quit. I want to quit. I want to quit. I was like, if I want to quit, I'll quit kind of thing. You know what I mean? But that descended upon me, that voice spirit just spoke to me and said, you can quit now. And what I took that to mean was like, now in this moment, you have some kind of spiritual support. And I knew, somehow I knew that if I didn't use this opportunity and quit now, that I might never quit or it would be a very long time. So I literally threw my head back and no, you know, and I was so mad. I was so mad because I didn't want to quit, but I knew, like I knew that it was something I was being called to do in that moment. And that was actually the last day that I had made a video. So my last, I think it was like my epic altar tour or something. The last video I had done was the day I quit. And it was really funny actually, because a bunch of people were like, oh my God, like I love your personality in this video. You're just like so on fire. And you know what it was? I was pissed. I was so fucking pissed. <laughs> and my bitchiness was coming out and people were like, it's so good. <laughs> anyway, so that all happened. I quit that day, cold turkey, just like that. As I said, I had one cigarette left. So what I had decided to do was to save it until the evening and do like a goodbye ritual, like a ritual to sort of release um, smoking from my life. So I had done that and then I literally spent the next month weeping. Like I was just in tears the entire time um, because this smoking was something that helped me cope with everything. So I, I literally felt like I had lost my best friend. Like I was in deep grief and anyone who has any kind of tense addiction will understand what this is like. Um, will kind of be like, yeah, like I get that. Especially if you've tried to give it up, like then you'll really know. <laughs> so that happened. And then it was like, I just, it, opened a wound, it exposed me. And so from that point, that was like, I just, I didn't feel like I could face the camera or when I tried, I was just like, I don't know what I'm saying. So that was all of that. And then um, that changed everything for me, but it, it opened up a whole new, it was the beginning of something. It was a huge sacrifice for the new in my life. Let me just see how long we're doing. All right, I'm gonna stop and start again. On my camera, I only have like a certain amount of time and then it will shut off and then I've got to do it again. So I just thought while I'm stopping and not on a roll, <laughs> I'll just restart. So then uh, later on in the year, so right before COVID hit, okay, so it was like 2000, end of 2019, we had um, tenants in the house that we own, which is this house here. Um, and we had always had tenants in here. It was always an investment property. So it was my husband's. He bought it when he was um, quite young. And yeah, it was just an investment property. We could never afford to live here before. So the tenants that we had in here always just covered the mortgage, right? And we were like, well, we can't afford to live there. So, you know, it wasn't even an option. And many times we came close to selling this house, um, you know, due to financial issues. And we're very grateful now that we didn't. Um, but that's kind of a whole other financial discussion, which we'll talk about money magic later at some point. So we had our tenants move out late November, I believe it was. Maybe it was the start of November. I don't know. They moved out and my husband had come down here because um, it's quite a distance away. It's where all our family lives. So it's about an hour and a half from where we used to live. And my husband had come down to just fix up a few things and get it ready, you know, for um, inspections and, you know, someone else moving in. And he came back that night and this was on the Sunday. And he said to me, what do you think about moving? What do you think about moving down there, you know, ourselves? Now, we had moved up to the other house we were at for a school that we were sending our son to. Um, and that was part of the financial issue that we had. It was a very expensive school and it ended up just absolutely hemorrhaging us. And we had shifted him to a different school up there, which wasn't a very good school. Like, it was fine, but he, he didn't like it and it was nothing special. And we were away from everyone. So I had made some friends up there, Crimson Fire and a few others. Um, but my husband didn't really know anyone and none of our family was there. 
there so we kind of figured well you know what we're up there just for the school we're not going to the school anymore but as soon as he said it as soon as he said what do you think about us moving down there again and I didn't want to move from the house I don't know if you guys remember but I fucking love the house that we're in my little witchy shack where all of my other videos were um, I love that house so much so I didn't actually want to leave but I had this peace descend upon me and I knew in that moment that that was the right thing so literally right there in that conversation I tend to like make decisions really quickly <laughs> bye sign <laughs> I'm just like yep yeah, let's do it so I was like yes I'm all in it feels right like yes you know, let's do it. And my husband's like, whoa, 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 he's a Taurus. Well, wow, just hang on a second. I need to think about this, okay? Let's just, I'll consider it. We'll just, uh, we'll just think about it. But it took him two days, right? It took him two days and he's like, you know what? Yep, this is the right thing for us to do. So we moved down here about a month later. We'd given notice, you know, for our other house and moved out. Moving, oh my God, you guys. <laughs> so stressful. Anyway, but I had said to him, I said, when we move, in one week, I want to be in this room. This is my room here, my new um, office slash witchy space. I said one week, all right? I want one week. I can go without an altar, without my space for one week. You know, I had better be in there by then. That's the only way I'm agreeing to this, right? Yeah, yeah, of course, you know, yep. And they were like, okay. So seven months later, <laughs> I was finally able to have an altar again. Oh my God, you guys. So we redid this room, uh, we put up new walls, we've done some soundproofing and stuff. Um, the walls are paper thin here, so we're sort of working on it all, but we're actually, there's a section behind me we're going to be renting out. So there's a bathroom behind me and two bedrooms and just a very small garage that we've converted into a kitchen. We're still working on the renovations like a year and a half later or something, almost a year and a half later. So we're going to be renting that out um, just to help us pay down some debt and things like that. Um, so, you know, we were doing up the room, up the space, and yeah, it took seven months before I was able to move into this room um, and actually have some privacy to be able to set up an altar. I did have little altars and things, you know, um, around, you know, just little, you know, a candle here, a rock there, you know, <laughs> and at my desk that I had, which was in a different space, it was in a building zone for those seven months. Um, I had, you know, plastering and, and flooring and just all kinds of stuff just around, you know, but I had started to make a little altar on my desk. There were crystals and different things, you know, I just can't help myself. It was, oh, when I was able to have my altar back again, which is right here next to me, it just, like, you don't need an altar, right? And you've heard people say this, and it's 100% true. And there are many witches who choose not to have an altar. So there are many who don't have altars because they don't want to have them. Um, and there are, of course, some that don't have them because they can't have them. But it definitely, like, this is like a house. It feels like the the house of magic, right? The, the housing spot of my magic, a place to go, the anchor of it all, even though, of course, magic happens everywhere in different places, around the house, outside the house, wherever. But it was, yeah, it felt very, very good to have this space back again. And it took, it was interesting, it took me a while to, like, get to know it again. Like, we sort of had to get to know each other again and, like, you know, build up the relationship. And it was really interesting um, just to kind of, I don't know, get back into it and everything. Anyway, I digress. Last year, as you guys will know, was very much a stone year. This is what um, Crimson Fire was calling it, but that was the energy, right? And I've actually heard a lot of other people call it stone year since, which I found really interesting because Crimson Fire was telling us about this like for the last three years or something, right? It might have been longer, but I know I heard it from her for about the last three years. She's like, the stone year is coming. And of course, it's never what you think it's gonna be, right? <laughs> like we had no idea it was gonna be on such a global fucking scale of like, just like stop, like everything just stopped, you know, for a whole year, it was just crazy. As you all know, we all have our stories of COVID and what the year was like for us. I do feel incredibly blessed and incredibly grateful because after so many years of struggle uh, with the most difficult, probably the crowning glory of difficulty being 2018, Last year was weirdly quite good for us and my husband and I spoke about it so many times like this is weird like like people aren't doing well you know there are so many people in the world not doing well and like now that everyone else is doing so terribly we're actually doing okay like this is really weird um, so I say thank you every single day still at like I, I'm 
deeply grateful for everything in my life which is running smoothly and for the stability that I have for the first time in my life. I cannot tell you, ever since I was a little kid, I have prayed and dreamed and wished and asked for stability and I finally have that 32 years later, <laughs> almost 33 soon, I finally have that stability in my life so I'm deeply grateful um, and I do believe that if we had have stayed in the house that we were at before it wouldn't have been okay like it would have been very difficult up there for multitude of reasons um, one of them for space uh, because my husband works at home now he's starting to go into the office a little bit now uh, that things are settled down quite a lot in Australia but yeah he worked at home all year and that would have been awful at our other place um, and just so many different reasons like we we were really really taken care of and um, I feel incredibly blessed and incredibly grateful um, so I just want to like give a shout out to you know whoever's responsible for that um, I'm yeah deeply grateful and now finally I have felt the prompt to come back here to YouTube um, I have been in the magical world doing things um, as I kind of mentioned this whole time so um, I've been watching and been you know doing all the social media stuff or whatever in terms of behind the scenes although lately I've stepped away from Instagram and Facebook quite a bit I just it's just a bit <laughs> oh, all the, th the energy is just a little bit intense right now and I just um, I'm very wary and careful with my mental health so like I've just had some things we'll talk about all that stuff but so anyway but YouTube will always be my love and I adore YouTube and I'm always on YouTube like watching different things and that's what I prefer to do rather than watching TV or whatever you know so I have felt the prompting to be back in this space and I actually, uh, I have actually felt it for a long time. I thought I would be back making videos at the start of last year and then it just kind of, uh, you know, uh. but lately I've been getting the, the, the signs, if you will. So what I had hoped was that I would really feel like being back on YouTube again, but there is a massive part of me that still just wants to be in my hermit space. I really enjoy that. Um, I just kind of want to be my own little, you know, I work for a magical company, but there I mostly do writing. So I do videos as well, but they're all tutorials. So it's very different to this kind of sharing. Like when I'm making videos for the spellcasting club, it's like, this is the spell that we're doing, you know? So it's a very, very different vibe, very different energy. And that's obviously as well, like a much smaller kind of community. Um, whereas YouTube is like, you know, just kind of out there in the ether. Not that everyone, you know, watches or will find the videos out on YouTube, but it's much more exposed, you know, and it's just a completely different energy. But I had a reading the other day from the amazing Avalon Cameron. So I've had, we're going to talk about readers and stuff later. I've, there's some readers that I want to share with you guys, but um, I did go to Avalon and I had an amazing reading with her. And in her reading, it was like, bitch, she didn't say that, but bitch, get your ass back on YouTube. That was essentially the message that was coming through, right? Like in a really loving, she would never, <laughs> she would never say that. But um, yeah, it was just like, that was the vibes I was getting, you know, it was like, you wanted a sign, here's the sign, here's the sign, go do the thing. So here we are doing the thing. And I have loads of ideas. And honestly, you guys, like throughout the entire two years I've been gone, there's been like, like constantly I think about you and I think about like, oh, I'd like to talk about this and oh, I'd like to share that and you know, whatever. And like, here we are finally doing the thing. So I'm really glad to be back. Thank you so much for hanging out with me during this time, however long it's been, I don't know <laughs> how long this video has been, but um, I really appreciate you watching. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to all of you who have, and those of you who have, while well, I haven't even been here, you guys are amazing. Um, I'm, I'm deeply, deeply grateful that I can come on here and have people listen to what I say. Um, you guys, like, are a huge part of... <sighs> I'm not even sure what to call it. It's something, it's something big, but I'm really grateful that you 
make space for me to um, share of myself and to to speak and to be heard and and to express you know that's um something that i'm deeply grateful for and i don't take it for granted and um it's a really amazing thing for me to know that I can come back in this space now and actually have some people who are going to click onto this video and hang out with me and, and listen to me ramble on about the things going on in my life. It's really cool. Um, so yeah, I feel, I feel really, really grateful. Thank you for being here. Thank you for waiting it out. <laughs> Thank you for, you know, popping back on here and um, seeing what I've been up to. It's really cool. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to chatting with um, some of you guys in the comments. Uh, there are a bunch of you that I'm like, oh, I wonder what this person's been up to. You know, there, there are many of you who I recognize by profile picture and by name. So um, even though like the profile pictures are so little, so it's normally like just like a, a, a pattern of colors. That's how I know you. So I hope that you'll hop on and say hello. Let me know how you've been, what's been going on in your world. Oh my god, it's been two years. Uh, but I will be back in the next one and we're going to chat. I think the next one is going to be about daily practice and uh, some ideas for injecting magic into the everyday. That's what I'm feeling. So I think we're going to chat about that next. But I'm wishing you guys so much love. Many, many blessings. Thank you again for being here. I'm, yeah, I just, I can't tell you. It actually feels right it feels really right so i look forward to sharing more with you in the future i have many ideas written down so let's do this thing